right, we're going to build off of um, projecting a geometry in L4-09. Um, a lot of this will be very similar. Uh, but in this case, we're going to create a sketch projection onto a surface, which is much of what we did last time. Um, and we're going to include that 3D geometry within the sketch. So let's continue off of the previous model that we had, which is this cube with the, the sphere on top. All right, and in the browser, expand the construction folder and select plane one, right click and then choose create sketch. So in the construction folder, um, it, it said plane one, we've already, from the last uh, tutorial, we labeled it offset plane. Um, we can even make it visible if we want to and create a sketch on it. Okay, notice the sketch palette control panel has an option for 3D sketch, activate this option, cool. So our sketch palette, it's uh, minimized right now. So if you're not using it, minimizing it's kind of nice because then uh, it's not taking up your screen. But let's expand that, scroll down, and at the, la at the very bottom is 3D sketch. So we're gonna activate that. <clears throat> All right, click create center diameter circle and beginning at the midpoint of the rectangular face's edge, draw a 25 millimeter circle. All right. So C for circle. All right, and we know center on this thing, it'll snap to it. You can see this, you can kind of see the dot there for center and 25 millimeters. All right, let me move this up just a little bit right there. Okay. Uh, is that all I want us to do? Okay, click home next. Uh, to the view cube to navigate to the home view. All right, and then we're gonna click create, project slash include and uh, project to surface. For the control panels faces selection, choose the faces onto which you want to project the selected geometry. In this instance, select the rectangular's solid top face and the sphere's face. All right, so, uh, First, they want us to go to the home view. And the reason we're going to the home view is it's just a little bit easier to see which um, geometries you're gonna be projecting. Uh, you know, you could, you could simply do it from, you could do it from uh, this orientation if you wanted to, uh, but they're showing depth by going to isometric. Uh, and you can, you can either do that with shift uh, and then the scroll middle button on your mouse or they've clicked on the home view. Uh, all right, we're going to go to create, project, and I believe they said include 3D geometry. Let's double check. Nope, project to surface. So escape that. Project to surface. Okay, and we're going to highlight this guy and this guy. Two selected faces. For the control panel's curve selection, Choose the circle you sketched in step four. Notice that a warning appears in the lower right corner of the canvas. Either the target sketch or the geometry needs to be reselected or redefined. Click cancel inside the project to surface control panel and then click finish sketch. Okay, so uh, for the curves, I think, he's, I think they said curves. For the curve selection, um, they said to go ahead and give this a shot and notice that it's not going to work. Warning, not supporting projecting sketch geometry into the same sketch. Please change the target sketch or geometry. So we're going to go like this. Um, they said to click finish sketch and we'll probably come back to it. Create a new sketch on plane one. All right. So click create, project include and uh, uh, on plane one. All right, where's plane one? Oh, wait a sec. We called it offset plane, didn't we? Yeah, all right, plane one is offset plane. I should have kept it just the same. So that's what I'll do so that we don't get confused. All right, we're gonna uh, hide that and create a new sketch. Ah. Hold on. 
Okay, we're gonna create sketch here. This is a new sketch, top view. All right, um, click create, project slash include, project to surface, create, project include, uh, project to surface. Okay, um, for the faces selection, choose the rectangular solid top face and the sphere space, okay. So for the faces, I'm gonna select these two guys. For the curve selection, choose the circle you drew in step four. Rotate the model if needed and zoom in to take note of the projected geometry. This is not the intended geometry. Okay, so if we go like this, okay. And I'm gonna to go to sketches and make that circle visible and we click curve, all right. In the control panel, choose the along vector option from the project type drop down menu. Along vector. From the project direction selection, choose one of the vertical edges on the rectangular solid. The projector geometry now matches the intended result as it projects onto both the flat face and the spherical face. All right. So we're already, we're in, we're ready to select the project, projected direction. Boom. And here we are. So let's shift. And you can see that we've now projected this circle that's 20 millimeters off of the object um, down onto the object. Not, and, and not only in one plane, but actually in several planes. Um, uh, here we have, a, you know, obviously the sphere, um, because it's curved, there are several planes that it's being drawn onto. And, and then there's this one, which is also separate of, of these planes. Uh, all right, click OK. Great. Notice the cylindrical face has a projected curve on the top and the bottom of the sphere. This has happened because the sphere is all one continuous face. And by continuous face, it means it, you know, it, it, it's a face that wraps around like that. And because we highlighted it here, we've highlighted you know, the whole thing. So we can tell, we can see that. Uh, the circle was projected onto here as well. Not true uh, of, of the cube though, because this face is different. It's a different face than the bottom. So uh, we don't have the circle down here because uh, this, this and this are two distinct faces uh, while this is one. All right, click create project. Include, include 3D geometry. Okay, create, project, include 3D geometry. Uh, select all, uh, select each of the four edges on the rectangular's solid, rectangular solids side face and notice that they are projected into the sketch even though they are not planar with the other sketch entities. All right. These 3D sketch elements are included inside this 2D sketch because the 3D sketch option is active, activated inside the sketch palette. Okay, so they're having us, uh, let's see. I don't know that I clicked on the included. All right, there we are. So what they're saying here is if, if 3D sketch was not highlighted, this wouldn't be allowed, but because uh, because we do have it highlighted, we can um, project these, which are all essentially in the same plane with respect to this orientation. We can still project them because um, we're in 3D sketch. To more easily see the geometry in the current 2D sketch, use the browser to turn off the visibility for the bodies uh, folder in component one. 
So we've already done this once, but they want to highlight this. We've now, because we've highlighted that we can sketch in three dimensions, um, they've allowed us to do this here. So that that's that's the third dimension because our sketch is in a plane uh, running this direction. Well, that this circles on um, the the sketch plane while this is out of plane. And they've highlighted the top edge of this box. I didn't. Um, we could go back and do that if we wanted to. So let's turn the component back on. Let's go create, project, uh, and we want to, well, we don't want to project it onto there. So we're going to do include 3D geometry. then turn the body back off. Okay, now ours matches theirs. Cool. Um, all right, click finish sketch to end the current sketch. Use the browser to turn the vis visibility back on for the body uh, for the bodies folder and component one. Return to the home view, save the file, and continue to the next module. Okay. Um, I, to be honest, I have not used or worked with a whole lot of the three dimensional sketching uh, ability, only because we can render it in three dimensions using extrude. Uh, so I don't really know when you'd ever have to, um, for example in a specific sketch, um, uh, project in the, you know, use the 3D geometry project tool to get like this surface and this surface. Um, I don't know how that would be ha handy, but uh, at least it is a tool that's available to you. All right, and we'll save it. Okay. And we're done with this module.